Hi and welcome back. Um, I was able to piece together a circuit using a 555 timer circuit and what I knew about electronics and what I've experienced and I've added all this stuff together into a solid state CFL light circuit that's running off a 555 timer and one transistor. It's a 2N3055 transistor. Um, anyway, I got it to work and I got it to work with very low amp draw and I'm using this earth ground circuit here that we've been working on at the Energetic Forum. And that's the earth ground circuit that I'm using right there. It may differ from other people. Now the capacitor that I'm charging up uh, really should be a battery or it should be pulsed back into the source battery and uh, the source battery is over here on this side but for the circuit diagram I'm just showing the capacitor right there that like I say could be a charge battery uh, just as easily as a capacitor and it charges up uh, off of the negative of the ignition coil uh, going the back EMF goes into it and then it's using this earth ground circuit but anyway, yeah, this is the setup right here. I'll get back. And it's breadboarded with a couple of CFLs and a 12 volt uh, source. And then the ground wire is uh, going down here. And I have it staked into the ground outside. And then the wire leads into the house right now. But that's the ground wire that comes on in here and uh, supplies the ground sink for the circuit. And I'll turn it on now. I've got the potentiometer here, um, the rheostat, the 25 ohm rheostat. It's not in the circuit diagram, but um, you really have to do something with your voltage. you got to keep it under control and you're going to have to heat sink that transistor or else go to an opt-isolator and um, silicon-controlled rectifier to keep from burning that up. So um, that's just something to suggest is you need a really good heat sink on that or you've got to go to a, an isolator type of system to keep from burning this up. Okay, I'll, I'll turn this on now. And there's the CFLs lit. Now, you notice it doesn't make any noise whatsoever. And there's the capacitor loading up right now. And uh, it's just being driven off of the ignition coil and it's going into this great big capacitor right now which you would um, normally put a cap pulser on that and put it right back into the drive battery that's what I found was the easiest way to do it you can also um, use a charge battery and charge it up and swap batteries if that will climb on it up it won't keep climbing though on this particular circuit it tops out but uh, anyway that's the circuit running right now there's a potentiometer for controlling uh, the 555 timer part of this and then I put a potentiometer in here to control the base resistance on the transistor right here and between these two you can get that synced in and get these lights to work and I worked and worked and worked on this till I figured out how to do it and look at my amp draw that's 110 milliamps I've got charging going on and I've got CFLs going. Now I'm going to turn on the radio so you can hear this. It's my little handy. It's my AM radio tuned to a null station. Now this is the, the base potentiometer. It's a 5K. And this will go in and out of sync. And then this is the potentiometer. It's a 30, um, I'm sorry, a 1 mega ohm um, potentiometer on the 555 timer circuit. And these have to be put in sync, otherwise it doesn't work. And that's what it sounds like. Of course, you turn off the radio, it doesn't make any noise at all, and I like that a lot. 
So anyway, that's that's the system I've set up here, and it's pretty darn simple. There's no Bedini circuit. This is just a 555 timer circuit, very, very simple 555 timer circuit with this uh, big um, power transistor that, like I say, you have to put a heat sink on this if you're going to run this for very long or at higher voltages. And uh, I've got this running now on a 12-volt battery. And uh, if you kick this up to 15 volts, uh, you're going to heat that transistor up. So you've got to be careful about that. But anyway, that's the latest on what I've accomplished here using this uh, solid-state circuit, no Bedini circuit. This is just me. And uh, it's a combination of what I've learned and then what people have taught me and then trial and error. And uh, that's the circuit right there. And... Uh, seems to work for me. Like I say, it's it's kind of a neat thing. You can use one or both lights if you want to. And uh, at that amp draw, that's a pretty neat thing. That's the latest.